Hello, everyone. Today we will start Science Day class, and then Step One and Week One. And the title is "Flowers Blooming by Themselves." So you know what flowers are. Of course, do you like flowers? Yes, I love flowers. So we'll study about these flowers blooming by themselves. So I will give you all the materials to you. You have the materials on your desk, right? And check your book. Check your book, and open your book, page two eleven. Can you see this picture? This boy has flowers on the plate. Can you open the book here? Okay. Okay. Good. And prepare this bag with flowers. Okay. We will start about flower blooming. Flower blooming. Can you repeat after me? Blooming, blooming, by themselves. So I will tell you a fun story to you. Flower blooming. So you know there is Arsong and Darsong. Arsong a girl, Darsong a boy. And Arsong and Darsong. Arsong、um, gave. Arsong gave. This paper flower to Dalsong. Dalsong gave paper flower to Dalsong, and flood, flood, flood is what is flood and airplane, airplane flood in the air, flood in the air, and if you put this one in the water, then it sink. The water here, the boat flood. It's not go under the water. We call it flood, flood, and the flood it on a plate filled with water. We're gonna use water filled with water, and this flower is a flood. Okay, flood, and that song flood the paper flower on a plate. So we're gonna flood just to you know put the flower on the plate, and then it will just fill it with water. And after a while, the petals. What's petal? I will show you petal. You know what's a flower, right? Flower. This is petal. So you can see this petal too. I will show you petal from this, you know, paper flower, flower, petal, 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 petal. Can you repeat after me? Flower. Flower and petal, good. Petal. How many petals? Can you count how many petals? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten petals. Ten petals. We call it flower has petals, right? Flower has petals. So you can repeat after it with your students. That will be great for your students to understand about petal and petal. And then the petals. We will put these petals on the water. Then it spread, spread, so spread. By themselves, so there it's kind of、uh, there is petal, but it spread out. So we call it this is blooming, blooming. Okay, so I will tell you one more time. Ai Song gave a flower to Dai Song. Ai Song gave a flower to Dai Song, and flood it on the water. Flooded on the water, and we filled with water, and filled with water, and put the flower on it, and that song flood the paper flower on the water. It spread out by themselves. That's what we are going to study today. Okay, so let's see what is that.
we will make that story real one to your life. Okay, so let me see. Can you see it? We need water. So let's understanding understand about the word about you know what is this? Do you know what's this? Water. Good. What's this? Water. 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 Good. And. This is absorb, absorb, absorb. Do you want to see? I want to tell you what absorb is. I have a flour, flour. We make pizza, bread, cookie with this flour. So this flour, let me put some water in the flour. Can you see it? I pour, fill with water. Then if I make it. Where is the water? This flower absorb absorb water. Absorb water. Can you see? Can you fill out the water? No. Flower absorb water. So you can mix with a flower. You can make a pizza. You can make a cookie. You can make bread. Everything. No water. Can you make water? It's coming down only flour, right? So no water. So because this flour absorb water. How about let me show you one more absorb too. One more absorb is just I pour water and I see. Can you see this blue ink? So let me put some blue ink. If you want red ink, yellow, whatever, you can use any color you like. Let me pour some blue ink and let me mix it. Let me change the color. Let me change. This is oil color, so it's not showing blue very thick. Let me pour more colors. Okay. This is actually just this is sent to blue. So it has blue colors. So you can see it's changing to blue ones, right? Let's change the blue ones. Yeah, let's change it to blue ones. Let me mix, 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 mix. Okay, this blue color. And can you see this paper bag? Then let me put this paper bag here. Maybe you can put some t-shirts or some any tissue or whatever. Then if we put it, then this paper absorb the water. Can you see the change? This paper absorb, absorb. So it absorbs the blue color here. Can you see it? So what is that? Let's say absorb three times. Absorb, absorb, absorb. One more time. Absorb, absorb, absorb. Do you understand? This is absorb. We call it flower absorbs water. And then this paper absorb the color water too. So you see your book. Can you see your book? Here we will mix the flour and water. This is flour powder and water. The flour absorb the water. You see it, right? And you put a white T-shirts, white T-shirts. But you cannot put your T-shirt. So your mother will say angry. Oh, it's dirty. It's colored. But I use the tissue and paper, and we can put the color in the container, and it's colored red color. But today we use the blue color, and absorb T-shirts absorb all the water. The color changes. They becomes red T-shirts and blue T-shirts. This is what. Ab Absorb. What is that? Absorb. Good. And then if you put a piece of paper between the cup, maybe if we put the two cups and if we put the tissue, and then this water will absorb and move to the other cup, and the water moves to here. 
It will be really fun for you. So we can make it, and then we can see it, and then we can move the water too. So you can try it with your students if you want. It, it depends on if you have enough time, you can try it. If you don't have enough time, just you can show it. If they love it to do it, then you can try it. But if you wanted to minimize your time, two, just to, you know, experiments will be enough to understand everything. You can explain it and then they can think, oh, I think what I move, they can answer. That's enough too. It depends on. And then there is a paper place and then for teachers, you can give another information for your students. You don't have to ask your student to read and understand. Just you can explain more. It is not for only students, it's for teacher and parents. So students, they don't need to read and memorize this part, okay? Finally, let's move to real, you know, experiments. And then students can do, and then they can make their own observation. Okay, let's go. Before we go it, then you can review the world again. And what is that, everyone? Flower, good, flower. How about the part of flower? We call it patter, very good, patter. All the time, don't forget to repeat the words. Okay, how about water? Water, good. How about what is that? Water, absorb. What is that? Absorb, good job. And then we will go We'll use all the you know, materials inside, and then students can make their own patterns, okay? So, let's go everyone, are you ready to start? Yes, okay, good. Then we can start your own observation. You can make your own plate too. Prepare, say plate. Plate, good. And prepare water. You have water, or teachers can give water to your students, and only they can answer water, it's enough. But if they can do it by themselves, they can fill the water on the plate by themselves. It depends on the age, okay? I'll do it. Okay, add some water to the plate. Then, you know, we offer this plate. What? Everyone, add some water. Add some water. Student can repeat this chant together and then they can add some water, okay? Add some water. Add some water. You can ask your student, add some water. Add some water or add some water. Whatever you can make, you know, motion. Add some water. Add some water. And what? Add some water. Add some water. Good, I added my water. Add some water. And what is that? We need this paper. We need these flowers. Everyone pick up the flowers and get one from one piece of paper. Okay, you can get one. Okay, good. This is good, right? And then what is that? We have to do it. Fold the paper. Fold the paper, fold the paper. So fold means we can show it, fold. Okay, fold, fold, fold. What is that? One more time, do you wanna do it, everyone? Fold the paper, fold the paper, fold the paper, fold the paper, fold the paper. Oh, it's really small, okay? Fold the paper, fold the paper. So we'll fold the paper. We'll fold the flower paper like this. One. You can fold the patterns, right? Two, three, fold, fold the paper. Fold the paper, fold the paper, fold the paper, fold the paper. Fold the paper, fold the paper. Wow, you did a good job. Then now this is just a small circle. You can see it, small circle. And fold the paper, and then we can see, last one is, 
So small circle, right? And then next one is put the paper on the water. 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 So we are gonna put one, two, three, everyone. One, no, 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 not yet. Okay, one, two, three. Put the paper on the water. Then put the paper on the water. What happens? See it. Watch it. See it, everyone. Look at your flower. <gasps> Can you see the flowers blooming? Can you see the flowers? The flower is blooming. Wow. Do you want to fold more flowers and then put the flowers on the paper? You can see all the flowers are blooming so beautiful, huh? And what? Flowers spread out. Flowers spread out. Let's say flowers spread out. Flowers spread out. Flowers spread out. Flowers spread out. We say what? Blooming. Blooming, right? It's just so beautiful. So this is the one we did it. And then we can say, wow, it's so beautiful and nice one, right? You can see the flowers blooming. And teachers, just I did only one flower now, but just you can try fold all the flowers they can put it on or just you can put three flowers here and then they can take this material to home of course then they can try the other three flowers at home with mom then they will be very happy to show it they can explain with the card like blooming or spread out whatever right that's another enjoyable repetition at home that will be great and then just we have to see what we can have. Do you remember we offer observation report? And observation report is here. You can see all four steps are the same to the card. And then we offer same sentences here. Okay, here, add some water here, right? Add some water, same sentences repeating. So you can help your students to find this one and then they have the cards and report books here. We offer same cards. I'm sorry, I'm searching it. Okay, these four sentence cards, they can stick on the report paper like first one, second one, third one, fourth one. And then they can put the sticker, they can stick it with a glue and they can make a final report like this. So this is enough to do it, or if we wanted to additionally, you wanna do something else, then you can make, you can help your student to, to have a presentation, like uh, even though they cannot speak English very well, but they have to practice in front of friends. That's really important thing, right? Then they can have a presentation like, add some water and or they send it oh, water and paper fold even though they cannot speak well and flower water <laughs> and and water flower um spread whatever even though they cannot speak very well but if you practice with a chant just to, with the sentences with a chant then they can do it a little bit better and then you can have a presentation. They have a chance to write the simple sentences bottom of the observation report. But if you don't have enough time or students, they are really afraid in the springtime, then you don't have to do it. You can start to after some more time too, if they are brave enough and then they feel comfort and comfortable, then you can start it. But or not, if students are you know brave enough, you can use this observation report. This is optional, not push to do for all the teachers and students. So you can enjoy your classes with this observation report for a presentation too. And ending part, ending part. Okay, everyone, let's review whole things again. What is that? We can use the sentence card and word card again, what? Flower, flower, patter, patter, Water, water. Absorb, absorb.
Okay, last part. Let's review it. Add some water. Add some water. Fold the paper. Fold the paper. Put the paper on the water. Put the paper on the water. Flower, spread out. Flower, spread out. Okay, good job, everyone. You did a good job today. And see you next time. Bye-bye.